Good afternoon, everyone, or good morning, depends what your time zone is. Uh, today, I get to show you something really quite cool. This is going to be version 15's brand new team render uh, tool. If you've had a look, presumably you're here because you've already had a look on the website or you've heard about it somewhere else. Uh, team render is cinema's new replacement for net render. So the system which normally allows you to render your animations across multiple machines, there's now this sort of um, beefed up, remade, uh, enhanced version called Team Render. Now Team Render has two key improvements. Uh, the first one is that it's largely broadly automatic and sort of fully integrated into the software. All you've got to do is hit render and it will soak up your extra processing power from all your other machines on the network, which you tell it to. Uh, the other cool advantage is it now splits up still images. So those of you doing really large resolution stills, you can now use multiple machines without having to slice your images up, stitch them back together. Cinema will just automatically do all of that uh, donkey work for you, and from your point of view, it will just render a lot faster. So let's have a look what we've got. Uh, now this video is only going to be team render. Uh, this is because I've uh, borrowed a few machines. I don't have them all day, so I need to get this video done as quick as I can. So let's see, how do we do this? Number one, turn it on. Uh, go to your preferences. It is disabled by default because it can monkey around with your network with Bonjour and other network protocols, so some network admins don't like it. So it's turned off by default, but it's just one button to enable it. Go to your preferences. Under your render engine, if you fold that out, you'll find there is a team render section. So in here, step one, turn it on. That was easy. Uh, now the next thing you'll need to do is enable it on some other machines. Now the really quite nice thing is you don't have to run a special piece of software. So long as anyone else in your office has Cinema installed, that's it. It will use their machine. Um, you can install a client software. So if you want to use it on some other machines and you've only really got one copy of Cinema, you can install the included client software on other machines. You can use their process processing power then. But if you're in a studio with, I don't know, four or five people who all have Cinema, uh, that's it. They don't have to install anything extra. It will just use their copy of Cinema to do, to do the rendering. So it's quite nice. Um, all you have to do though, if you have a quick look in your settings here, there is this security token. It's basically a little password, just so that you can, uh, let's say there's a, a couple of different departments. You had a big company. You've got a, an advertising department and a, a feature website department. Perhaps the, uh, the advertising department don't want the other guys using their render machines. You can basically set up a little password just so that you can maybe cordon off certain machines on your network so that only certain departments can use them. But, realistically, most people are going to be in full control over the machines they want. So I'd recommend you just set it to something nice and memorable. Um, I've just simply set all of my security tokens, my passwords, I've just set them all to 12345. But hey, choose whatever works for you. So that's it, I've, I've enabled it there. So if I close my preferences, I should now be able to go to my render menu. And in here, let's see, I have Team Render Machines. This will list all of the other devices on your network ready to go. So here I've got some uh, Mac, MacBook Airs, um, Windows desktops, uh, MacBook Pro. You can mix and match pretty much anything you like. Um, I haven't come across any limitations between the Mac and PC side yet, so it's all worked thus far. Uh, let's see, though, we, we have these machines here. We need to enable them, though. We need to say, hey, we have permission to use you. So find the machine. Let's see, Sean's MacBook Air. It's online. It hasn't been verified yet. I haven't got access to it. But it is being shared if I have the right password. So if I right-click and choose Verify, my passwords I've set up is 12345. Don't use that password anywhere else, I promise you. But there you go, it's all lit up green, it says that's fine, that's good, it's shared, it's got, uh, let's see, four cores at 1.7 gigahertz, although that might be a dual core machine with hyper-threading, uh, four gigs of RAM, and it's got a full studio version installed, so that will also limit what features you can use. But I'm going to go ahead and do this for the others, so I've got a couple of Windows desktops here, one, two, three, four, five, yep, another one here, one, two, three, four, five. 
and this is another MacBook Pro. Again, one, two, three, four, five. That's my lovely passwords. I now have four extra machines and my local machine here, which I'm working on. Uh, so let's let's go ahead and do something. That's it. It's all ready to go. Close the window down. Uh, I'm just going to quickly open up a project I've kind of set up. Um, I've actually set this up so that it renders slower than I want it to, just because otherwise it would render too quickly for me to show you the network render system. So let's just show you what we've got here. Um, if I just set this off rendering on my single machine, these buttons here, they're the standard render buttons. If I hit this render button here, this is not going to use any of the extra machines on my network. It's just using my local machine here. So this might take, you know what, I haven't really timed it. It might take it a minute or two to render. You can see it's quite slowly rendering there. It's going to take a while. So what I'm going to do is close this down, stop it rendering, and instead have a look. You have render to picture viewer. That is actually your standard button you see here. And there is another one cunningly titled Team Render to Picture Viewer. If I hit this, uh, I'm actually just going to quickly open up my render machines, uh, team render machines there. Let's throw it over here, top left, and let's start it. Team render to picture viewer. This will go off and split my image into multiple parts. Look at this go. Oh, brilliant. Amazing. Uh, you can see here these things are all rendering. Their little uh, status lights have turned orange to say they're busy, they're doing something. The room may get a little noisy. You might hear a few fans spinning up. Uh, but look at that power through. So you can see which buckets are rendering, which buckets have been queued up for the next client. And yeah, that's, that's powering through there now. Now just one little thing I can do, so you, if you're trying to work out which machine is doing what, I can tell my team render machines, show the bucket color. Now some of you might be thinking, what the hell is a bucket? Those little squares you see when it renders, we call those buckets. Uh, it's just a small portion of the image, self-contained, so that it can get sent out to the other clients and sent back again. So if I turn on bucket color, uh, these machines will now all sort of uh, get a slight color, so you can sort of identify them. But if I just render that out again, team render to picture viewer, you will now get a few colors. I will admit it hasn't chosen the most sensible colors in the world. I do seem to have two shades of blue, two shades of purple, and a brown one. Uh, but if the machines pick a bit of a more sensible color, then they would make a lot more sense. Uh, but there you go, they're rendering. It works for stills. Now, it's not 100% efficient. If you have 10 machines at the same speed, it's not going to be 10 times quicker. But there's a little overhead for your network transfers so my advice is try to get a wired solid wired gigabit network it will work over wireless but keep in mind it is going to be a lot slower than a wired network is uh, do make sure your hub and your cabling both support gigabit speed again it will work at 100 megabit but it's going to be 10 times slower at least in terms of the transfer speed um, I should also point out it's quite clever in that the asset distribution, i.e. all of the textures and the movies and the files that your project needs, is actually distributed around all these different machines with peer-to-peer. -peer. The same sort of thing you get with um, BitTorrents and anyone who plays a Blizzard game when you download updates, that's peer-to-peer -peer sharing. So rather than just your one single machine having to send all the files to every machine, once a file ends up on one of the clients, that client will actually start sharing it with all the other machines. So it's it's reasonably clever. Um, but yes, it works for stills. The image will get sliced up. If you do animations, it's a little bit different. Um, for an animation, it will actually give a whole frame to each and every machine. Um, it's just more efficient to give whole frames to a machine rather than slicing up little, little pieces of it. So it'll work very slightly differently if you do an animation. Um, but I should mention, there is another way you can launch this. Now, a few of you might be thinking, well, I used to have a web interface. I used to be able to queue things up to render. Well, that's now gone. However, though, Cinema's render queue has been beefed up. If you add a project into the render queue... I'm not sure what that one there is. Let's get rid of that old project. You'll notice there is a new checkbox. So if you're going to render a project, you can just tick the Team button. And that's it. Uh, 
Uh, queue things up, set them up how you want them to render, and any projects which have the team button enabled, those will also use the team render system, soak up all their processing power, and fire things off really rather quickly. There goes my light bulb. That was excellent timing. I think I might turn that light off. Oh, well. Um, okay, so from the uh, darkness of my office, uh, that will do for Team Render. It's a brilliant new system. Really quite like it. Already used it in some productions. Um, yeah, it's it's a nice stable upgrade. Um, go watch my other video. I'll, I'll have the rest of the version 15 stuff in that video once I've got a new light bulb. Okay, tough for now.